Welcome to the AACS Daily News. In collaboration with area organizations, acting Attleboro Mayor Jay Delisio is working to form an Attleboro Community Crisis Intervention Team. The purpose of the group is to address rising mental health concerns. We spoke with him to learn more. I'm Acting Mayor Jay Delisio, and we're talking today about the Attleboro Community Crisis Intervention Team. And this was started organically by a conversation I had with Amy Brewer at Sturdy Memorial. We we're having our monthly meeting and I asked her, um, you know, I hear a lot about mental health. What are some of the initiatives going on in the city? And she said there's a lot that's going on, a lot of silos, a lot of great agencies that are working towards really combating mental health and working together to help the residents get the help they need, but also the resources for families and parents. And she said there's a lot of redundancies. So I said, would it make sense if we brought everyone together into one room? And he's like, that'd be great. So I ended up sending out an email to a few of the leaders uh, from the YMCA, Arca Bristol County, New Hope, Fuller Hospital, some of our local um, partners, such as the outreach worker for the city, the health nurse, the chief of police, the POP team, Representative Hawkins, the outreach worker from the um, Council on Aging, uh, Attleboro Interfaith Collective, Collaborative, the Hebron Food Pantry, the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, most recently, Bristol County Savings Bank, who does so much for the community, is asked to be a part of it. So just to name a few, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few, but it's quite the list. And just the response has been great. So we met last week for about an hour and a half in the annex room downstairs, and the feedback was fantastic. Everyone wants to work together, and that's really what's important. And it's really powerful when we look at so many great community leaders coming together to address this as one Attleboro. I think that mental health has impacted all of us either directly or indirectly. I know personally I've seen the impact it's had on my family. It's not something we talk an awful lot about um, collectively as a community because there's still that stigma. We need to get rid of that stigma. We need to help people. We need to have a centralized team that's able to help people, to get people the help they need and understand that we're all in this together. And that was the biggest thing that I took away from our meeting last week is that we are all in this together. We will be meeting again on February 16th at 10 o'clock. The YMCA has offered to host us at the Sweet Community House on Peck Street. So we're looking forward to bringing everyone together. There will be a steering committee. And since that first meeting, we've had other agencies reach out to us and ask to be a part of it. We've had the existing agencies ask if there's a way that we can bring more people in from their um, organization, which is really, really motivating. Taunton has a community crisis intervention team that the Attleboro Police and POP unit have been a part of. So we're going to model the Attleboro Community Crisis Intervention Team. After that, we're going to take the best practices, kind of look at their playbook, see how we can uh, make it fit in Attleboro. So a lot of times we have people that might start at the police department and then they might go to Sturdy and then to Fuller and then to the Y. We're going to talk about how do we collectively help these folks when they're in need. From there, we're going to talk about prevention. And uh, part of the group was Dave Sawyer, the superintendent of the public schools, and he was really passionate about this project. So to have him on board to help with some of the preventative measures, to talk about some of the issues and concerns that he's seeing, it's going to really help to um, forge the path. At this point, we will be going through the local media, uh, the city social media to get the word out as we're still in the infancy stages. And ultimately, we're going to want to have our own website. We're going to want to have our own communication centralized. We're going to look to see where can the city add resources uh, to really help centralize this again. And I say centralize again because it's so important to make sure that we're all on the same page.